Okay, here's my little uh, magnetic ring bomb Sterling engine running like I wanted it to run. And um, it was kind of interesting, the evolution of this thing and what I started out doing versus what I ended up doing here and where I may go from here. But uh, anyway, I changed uh, this top plate to an aluminum uh, piece instead of the CD. And then I, I 3D printed the... Uh, bearing support right there and um, I've got it running on uh, two ice containers here and then a candle warmer it's a electric uh, candle warmer that puts out about 145 degrees Fahrenheit and that runs pretty good I like I like what I'm seeing there uh, the, the little plungers picking up the displacer and dropping it about right. I think what I might do, this is a PLA spacer here, and I may uh, print another one and then glue it permanently to the bottom and then figure out a way to uh, tape the top onto that so that I can take it apart. Because I, I don't like the fact I can't take it apart. I might put some screws or clamps or something to hold this together better. Uh, the rubber bands just hold this tight to the base here. It's like a little hot plate is what it is. But uh, that, uh, that runs pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with how that turned out. Let's say a magnetic ring bomb Sterling engine.